So we're going to talk about drawing dilations now. We're done with translations, rotations, and reflections. It's going to dilations. Dilations will make things bigger, make things smaller. Enlargements, reductions. So draw a shape. Then you should put a dot somewhere. Your dot is your dilation point. Your drawing will be going from there, basically. So right now our drawing will be going to the right because V is to the left of our shape. Draw some rays coming from the dilation point through each vertex. Just make them longer. They got to be go somewhere. You're not sure how long they need to be yet. Just draw them. You can always make them longer. You can always make them shorter. Draw them lightly again. They are temporary lines, so go light with those. Now you need to measure the distance from the dilation point D to each vertex. So DB is 3.49, DA is that, DC is that. You need that number. You need to pick a dilation factor. We're just going to start with two. You can do any number other than zero, other than one. One doesn't dilate. It keeps the same size in the same place. Zero just makes everything disappear. So we pick two. 2.5, 2.7, 1.7, negative 5, negative 3, 0 0.6, anything. But we're just going to stick with two. You need to multiply those distances, dB, dA, dC, by the dilation factor, by the scale factor. And the scale factor is often called K. So in our case, K equals 2. So there's our distance. There's our new numbers. What you do is you have to put new dots, the twin dots, those distances away from the dilation point. So dB prime is going to be twice as far as dB. So there we go, 698, 422, 75, awesome. Now connect the dots. That is a dilation. If you look at the twin lines like AB and A prime, B prime, they should look parallel. BC, BC here and BC, B prime, C prime should be parallel. A prime and say AC should be parallel. If they're not, your dilation didn't go well. So let's check something. Let's measure all the sides. And what are you expecting to happen? Well, in his, our original shape is 2.01. Our big ones, our dilation is 4.01. Our AC is 1.78. Our A prime, C prime is 3.56. Um, we have some rounding issues sometimes, but what's happened is since we used a scale factor of 2, our sides are twice as big. So how about the angles? So measure the angles, and we look at them as angle B is 39.68, and angle B prime is 39.68. Hmm. Let's try another one. Uh, angle C and C prime are both 46.04. So if two angles are there, that means the third one's the same, right? Yeah, okay. So our angles are the same. Well, that kind of makes sense, because a triangle is 180 degrees. Just making it bigger doesn't make it 360 degrees. Angles stay the same. That means these shapes are similar. They are called similar shapes. And that is because of two reasons. Not just one reason, but two. The angles are equal and the sides are proportional. In our first example, they were proportional by a factor of two. Let's try a dilation where we go with a k equal to a half. So instead of getting bigger, we're going to get so again, draw your rays, measure the distances, multiply by the scale factor of one half, and put dots that distance away. So 5, 2, 3, half of that is 2, 6, 2. 4, 0, 5, half of that's 2, 0, 3. 5, 6, 7, half of that's 2, 8, 3. Again, we've got some rounding issues because I have GeoGebra making this 200th place. So it's running everything in the place, but those are a half of the original. Draw your shape, and there we go. It made it smaller. It's a reduction. What do you think happened to the sides? So if A, B, let's say A, B was uh, 4, A prime, B prime will be half of that, 2. So our scale factor was 1 half. All right. Angles are... They better be. This is still supposed to be a similar figure, not congruent. 
Congruent means same exact everything. Similar means same angles, congruent, same angles, proportional sides. So negative scale factor, think number line. If positive has things going to the right, negative has things, yeah, to the left of D. So in this case, you don't want to draw rays because you want to draw lines because things are going to go to the other side of D. B's twin will go down this line to the other side. A's twin will go across this line, across D to the other side because it's a negative scale factor, the other side. So measure the distance, multiply by the scale factor. You know, that negative is going to tell me to put them on the other side. We have a scale factor of negative 2. So our 2.77 distance, multiply it by 2, and we get 5.54. So B is 2.77 away from D. B prime will be 5.54 away from D on that line. Let's see, C is 3.11, so times 2 is 6.22. So go down that line, go to D, go 6.22 away, and there's C prime. A, 1.39, double that, 2.78-ish. So, again, rounding. So the negative sent it to the other side, and we're still, in this case, doubling the distance because it's a scale factor of 2. If we had half the distance, it would, if we had a negative 1 half, it would still be on the left side. It would just be a smaller shape instead of a bigger shape. So the negative... Positive puts it either on the same side or the opposite side. The bigger than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 and a half, 7 2, makes it bigger. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth makes it smaller. That's dilations. Later.